We could. We good. We haven't had an argument. <laughs> or have we? I don't know. Not done, yet. done, done. We're on camera. <laughs> Welcome. What is up, YouTube? It's welcome. James. Welcome. <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Welcome to our, our abode. So this episode is brought to you by our friends at Artem Straps. Thank you. We made it. Um, so wristwatch check. I am wearing a Rolex Explorer 2 16570. Not for sale. Not for sale. On a... I mean, everything's for sale for the right price. Like but. sale cloth strap from, strop, strap from Artem uh, Straps. Um, with white stitching on a point, beautiful. Uh, we'll talk about them a little bit later on. But what are we talking about now? That's a good question. Let me check my notes. I actually don't know what we're talking about. You must know what we're talking about. So what we're talking about is what can you get... <laughs> is that another fly attack? That was another fly attack. Um, so James, you're a bum. You don't own a Rolex, do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One. Oh yes you do. Okay, fine. Well the shop owns a Rolex. Yeah, I don't I personally don't. Peasant. Mm. Um speaking as the guy with only one watch right now. So what we're saying is what watches can you buy for under five grand? Decent watches. Yes. Re and, real watch. And it doesn't mean that you're a bum as well, because you've just insulted a large proportion of the population. Myself included, which makes it okay. Yeah. That's all I own right now. So um let's start in the kind of the three to five K category, right, uh, to start off. Let's just get straight into, I'm only going to mention one Rolex. Oh, you're going Rolex, okay. Well, listen, that's a lot of what people want. So if, you, if you're thinking, right, I've got a five grand budget, what can I get? I'd really like a Rolex. You've pretty much really only got one good choice, and that's a Rolex Datejust 36. Yeah. You can get anything from 70s, 80s, 90s. You might even stretch the very early 2000s. You've got a massive choice of steel, steel and gold, uh, bezel choices, and the dial options are undefeated. We're, we're still discovering. Undefeated in, in the watch game. Who's got more dials than a Rolex well, Datejust? We're still discovering dial exactly. configuration. So I think that's a really good place. I would focus on condition. Don't bother about box and papers. You'll get a better watch when you're on, on that kind of budget. There it's are like no date just. No one's keeping boxes for their date just in the 80s. <laughs> It's rare and buy on condition. I mean, you could possibly get a, a standard Explorer in that budget, but I just think boring. Go with the Datejust. Uh, loads of cool stuff out there. Uh, what are you going to get? Fantastic. I mean, maybe even I don't know if you. Yeah, you'd still get maybe like a Buckley doll if you want to be completely yeah. different. Yeah, you could. Or just there's there's so many options out there. You choose. You choose. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> You're going to say the good old Cartier, are No. You? No? I'm not. We are going to go there. Oh, of course. I'm going to go with the Amiga Speedmaster. Oh, uh, well, fine. So, okay. Hesselite dial, closed case back. Um, I sold one this year, brand new, for under five grand. So, they are out there. You can do that. And by the way, we are talking worldwide pricing. Mm -hmm. They are out there. Yeah. If you can't find one, you call me. To go. I'll get you one. Um, you can get a 38 at new. You can get a 38 new. You can definitely find on the grey market the 42 standard moon watch. Mm -hmm. But you could go all the way back to something like yours, the triple calendar that yeah. you had. Um, that was what, two grand, something like that? Yeah, yeah. This, again, with the Speedmaster catalogue, if you're, if you're prepared to go backwards to the 90s, um, there's so many models out there. So that's a great choice. Um, and, you know, pretend that you're going to go to the moon someday. It's, it's a watch for life. Buzzy was wearing his yesterday for the, was it the Apollo 11? I forget what year anniversary now. Who? Buzz Aldrin. Oh, what's you know, the, the Speedmaster. He's Speed still alive. Master. Yes. We're official. We are official. So let's get into it. Artem straps. Um, so what are they? Uh, let's just kind of cover that first. So they are... Two enthusiasts from uh, Australia. So they're from down under. They're, they're upside down. But the straps are not. The straps are not. Unless so you put them on wrong. They are basically two guys which are watch enthusiasts that wanted to make the best sailcloth strap that they could because they weren't happy with what's out there. And they've done an awesome job. So first of all, sailcloth straps. They're not sailcloth. No, and you usually hate them when I find them, but I go cheapo normally. And these aren't. 
For me, these sit right in the middle. They're a premium quality product, but at a good price. They're not the bottom end. They're not, you know, Blanc Palm numbers. They're, they're not silly numbers at all. But they are of that quality when I'm talking about Blanc Palm. The first good sailcloth strap that I ever came across. I'm a big fan of the Blanc Palm 50 Fathoms. I've had three of them. And the sailcloth strap is on that is, is awesome. This is what this is in its own way. Um, they do a range of different colors, a range of different sizes. Different kind of stitching. Different stitching fits. Um, so these are them. So this is on your Rolex Explorer. So I've got the black one here, which comes on their deployant, um, which is great. We've also got them in a beautiful blue here. And I don't know what they call this color because I didn't look I at it. I almost go like um, olive or khaki green. I would go olive color. Um, but they do a whole range. So whatever sizes you want, whatever colors, um, they're made of a synthetic uh, material on top. And the other underside is like a leather. Then it's got a natural rubber layer. Um, to really soften it. Um, just getting into it first, when they sent them to us, they're, they're all sent out by DHL postage. And these things came super well wrapped, like in this like bubble encrusted envelope. Um, it was like buying from an AD, it was better than buying from an AD really. Yes, and then you, I've unpackaged that and then it was in the, like individually pouch and rubber straps. Like, uh, sorry, not- It was like foil wraps, like when you buy a motherboard. Yeah, in that bubble like kind of packaging. Um, and then I finally got into the packaging, which I've now destroyed because I like got into it in a frenzied <laughs> fit of like, I want to get into this super quick. Um, so yeah, and then obviously we've got the straps. So you can get them on the normal pin buckle. You can get them, like as I said, on the deployant. Um, and there's some really nice Two features. different kinds of deployant as well. Yes. Some of the details that I really like, where you would put you know, the, the pin buckle bit, on the deployment through, and I would presume on the um, on the other ones, which are just pin buckles. It's nice rubberized there on the top. I like the fact that you can get the different stitching colors because I always I'm always one for white stitching. See, I'm not normally about white stitching, but this has converted me. You, you can get it obviously colored, so you know that's the olive one with the matching color. Uh, you've got the quick release um, on the uh, spring bars, which are really good and handy, which I. I always go for because, I mean, so on your Explorer, where you've got like the good old fashioned uh, holes to, <laughs> which Stop is much better. On the new wrist. ones, they, they, where they don't, it's like, you're like, oh, I've got to get my, my get tool the in there out, and start. Get the tool yeah, exactly. In. So I sell the tape, and then you're like, quick it's release just, should be the standard now. 100%. 100% it should. And that's what these come with. So it's literally as easy as. Da. Don't dismantle my watch. And then back in. Look at this on the fly. On a video. Oh, don't, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. I'm pre oh yeah, that's it. It's me. Um, it's, that, it's that easy. Um, they wear really comfortably. Um, they're gonna be, we've only been testing this one for a couple of weeks, but they're gonna be super hard wearing just by the nature of, you know, sailcloth. You know, sailcloth was originally made for, you know, that marine environment, UV, light, all sorts of weather. Um, and, you know, this is the evolution of that. So that it's always gonna be, um, super hard wearing. Um, really comfortable. One thing I always notice, regardless of what strap or brace that I've got on that Explorer, I always feel a little bit of tightness. Mm -hmm. Super comfortable. Barely even notice I'm wearing the watch. Yeah, and you've got the adjustment on the fly as yeah. well, should you want it as you would with the pin buckle. Um, so yeah, I think they're, they're, they're super cool, so definitely check them out at Artem Straps. Uh, we'll link it up below. Um, there's not really much more I mean, to look, say. It's converted me. It, it you know, you what, know what my do. strap choices are like. Awful. Cheapskate, you hate them. I'm, I'm actually converted. I finally get spending the money on, on a third party. I get spending the money on, on a official, you know, OEM strap, fine, get it, name, whatever. But this is the first third party strap I've come across. I'm actually convinced. And with the rubberized bit on the inside, you're going to get good comfort. Um, so, yeah. What I like as well about these deployments, just going back to these as well is, Steel, blacked out, black PVD. You get the option, and this as well. It's got a mixture of brushed and polished, which is really nice. It's got a real premium feel to it. It does have a premium feel to it. Um, you know, really good quality. And yeah, that's nice. That in. Good quality. So you, you know, it's not coming out. Yeah, I'm a fan. So check them out. Awesome straps. Awesome straps. Awesome straps. <laughs> Cartier, let's just touch on that. Um, you can get yourself a Cartier Santos, uh, probably like a medium dial, um, white. A blue and green would be a bit too hard to get right now because that's only just come out, so you mm -hmm. can get a standard white dial. Again, you could go 
choose any model you want. I'm talking about the, like the standard 35 millimeter medium one, but you could go uh, like a Santos Gal B um, or anything like that. Again, if you're prepared to go backwards to the 80s, you've got so much choice out there. Um, be fashionable, you know, think that you live in Monaco. Jobs are good. But we don't live in Monaco, do we? No, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> oh, is that um, a threat or a promise? I, I don't know, really. <laughs> promise myself. Um, uh, I was chucking another one. Uh, Amiga Seamaster 300M. Yes. I mean, Can't brand go. new, th four grand, it's, it's, roughly. Yeah, sub four grand. I just sold one a year old for three grand. Yeah. So way within budget. It's out there. <laughs> Um, and last one, just for a tickle over 300, uh, sorry, three grand. 300, you offer um, one at 300. Tudor Chronograph Panda. Yeah, okay, I hadn't even thought about the Chronograph. I yeah. got offered a brand new one this week for 3,600. Sorry, last week, and I said no to it, it's too expensive, and they said make me an offer. So you could have got it for less. They're out there. They're definitely out there, well under 5K. Uh, I mean, new it's like four something anyway, so. But yeah, you don't need to even pay a list on those anymore. Okay, times are hard. Let's go sub three grand. Mm. Do not um, say the Casio F9. Well under budget. Um, I think, you know, a really solid choice to get you well under three grand, the Tudor Black Bay 58. All the 54 now. All the 54. Um, you'd have to hustle a little bit to get that under three grand because um, it's 3,200 at retail. But in um, Guernsey. In Guernsey, if you can get hold of one, yeah, you could get it for £2,666. Um, but Number six is, that doesn't bode well. Try getting one from a retailer right now, not the easiest thing. Not hard, not impossible, but yeah. not the easiest thing. But yeah, you'll get that under three grand. I think the 58, though, represents more value because you can get that for around two, two to two four, that sort of price range for a pre owned one. Um, that's about two seven brand new Guernsey price. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I, I, you know, and that black gilt is still one of the best looking dials. So a lot of watch, uh, a lot of brands. Um, it could be that one watch for life. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Um, oh, chucking out a bit of a, a bit of something different. So a Longine Spirit Zulu Time. Yes. So brand new. You can get for as good as two thousand pounds because I just did one. Uh, for two grand for a customer, that was brand new. Yeah. Um, they're really cool, and that's the 39 millimeter, but they go to 42 or 43 millimeter. 43 rings a bell. So if you're feeling a little bit on the shrink side, you can go for a big, uh, oh, a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would actually say anything from long jeans, generally speaking, if you're in that 2K, but definitely under 3K region, they got so many great watches from the Hydra Conquest. Yeah, you've got the you got the Zulus, you've got the whole Spirit range, yeah. you've got the whole Heritage range. I mean, There's Jesus Christ, their, if you could get their catalogue in a book, it would put the Bible to shame. So it, it would. It's it, it's huge their catalogue. So there'll be something in there you like, and even think like um, the Longines uh, Skin Diver. Yes, you can pick that up brand new for like sixteen hundred pounds. It's nuts. And that's such a cool like you know sixties esque. It watch. shouldn't be that cheap. No, Almost. it's too cheap. They yeah, didn't don't make it more expensive. But. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to borrow it. Here's the thing. If they made long shins more expensive, we'd all want one. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Because it's that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just That's what you do, long jeans. Just there you go. Um, and last one, because it wouldn't be any category without a Cartier in it. <sighs> tank. Pick a tank. It must be the tank. Oh. You can go from brand new at about two grand. Must be. Must, tank to must. Oh yes. my God. All the way back. <laughs> um, we did one last week for a client, which was um, a tank Amazing. must. Uh, 1984. Mm -hmm. um, those were when they were gold plated. Um, this one had a beautiful lemon dial. Just had it gold re-electro plated um, with that lemon dial. Um, beautiful. That was a... Was that 2,300, something yeah. like that? But I mean, they're around a bit cheaper if you're willing to uh, negotiate on condition. Mm -hmm. All but, the box and papers. Yeah, there's just, there's so much out there. I mean, go all the way back to, yeah, like the 80s and just, again, like there's so many colors out there. I mean, they are small if you're going for those sort of ones. They're, they're a certain look. 
you've got to get used to it or really like that style yeah so yeah i just think i mean there's so much out there yes i mean covered i mean you know if you want a you know an ap or a patek you're out of luck yeah but no. you you've got there's rolexes there's amigas um obviously we haven't discussed tag Heuer because um you know why would we um but you know yeah if you want a new tag you can there's go, plenty out there go to your ad and ask for 25 percent off do not pay retail no same like with brightling retail. uh same with brightling um but yeah they've got plenty of watches well under in that sort of price range so yeah give us your thoughts what what would you be going for in the uh below 5k range buy? oh 5k okay i was gonna offer them three grand well listen that three give us a shopping range. list shopping list yeah that you can buy yourselves how many good watches could you buy for five grand good watches two i reckon you could stretch that to three three if yeah if you were prepared to really spend some time on it plotting it out mm. um some people only want a free watch collection i don't want to that's the dream i think i uh, know i think the dream is one watch it's got to be two no you can't have the one watch for everything yep it's yes, impossible you can. it's not impossible what's the one watch for everything well it depends who you are it depends you know who are you uh I'll take the day date 36. it's not a one watch for everything of course it does get in the pool yeah it's water resistant to 100 meters until you're out of the Rolex warranty period and you're too scared to do it. No. In fact, is it more than 100 metres? It's at least 100 metres, if not uh, more. It should be 100, I think, because it doesn't yeah. so it does everything further. Want to get into a bar fight? Take it off? Knuckle duster? Oh, no, it's going to stay on. I'll use it as a knuckle duster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it does everything. Dress up, you dress down. I mean, it does okay. everything. You're going on holiday to New York. Brilliant. You need to buy some Coke and you've run out of money? accepted everywhere but then it's not the one watch because you've sold it well you get another one anyway thank you Artem <laughs> you're welcome